worthy of you, but I just can't help loving you. It's like wanting to touch a star. You know you'll never reach it, but you've just got to keep trying. Steve, why do you always say things like that? All right, what's going on, everybody? It's 2021, and we here. Another year, another day. A day where the removal of God is accepted throughout most of the earth. Where man is God, and the universe is the creator and ruler of all. We hear terms like frequencies and energy on a regular now. And the one thing these frequencies or energies lead men to believe is that man and woman is God. So who is God? For me it's simple. And I like to keep it simple because he is not a complex God. We just make it that way for our own imagination. I'm going to start with this verse, which is one of my favorites. Well, verses, because it explains everything for me. But for those that need a deeper understanding, we'll go there. Who is God? Exodus 3, verses 13 and 14. And it reads, And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers hath sent me unto you. And they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am have sent me unto you. that I am that's what he said not me so what does all these other names or titles come from and why do people assume that it's okay to use these terms maybe they've been influenced I'm talking about terms like God Adonai Lord 
Jehovah Jireh, Nisi, and all the mother Jehovah's, right? El Shaddai, so on and so on. You know how it go. So let's get to it. Let's break this down. And by the end of this, we should be able to see what the creator or God's name is. Right? Because over and over and over, God tells you to seek His face, seek His presence. But how can you do that if you don't know His name? So we're going to start with Adonai. All right? If you have it, pull out your Bible and your concordance. If you don't have one, just follow along and enjoy. Pause the video if you need to, and when it's all said and done, you can go online or whatever and see for yourself. All right? Adonai. Let's get it. If you have your concordance, we going to H136 in the Hebrew section. You know it's in the Hebrew section because it has an H in the front. Alright. Alright, H136. Pronounced Adonai. Which most of us already know I, Y, and J are interchangeable. Which means you could basically put them in almost any word and they could make the same sound. Alright? Adonai or Adonai is an emphatic form of H113, which is Adon. Meaning human or divine, sovereign, controller, lord, master, or owner. So that means Adonai being the emphatic form of Adon would be like my lord, the lord, his lord, her lord. You know, put an emphasis on it. Right? This is one of the accepted names of God. But as you can see, it is merely a title. Lord. And again, what is his name? I am that I am. Now we're going to come back to that word, Adonai. And jump into the next two words, which is Lord and God. Now, here's where it's finna get real tricky, so I need you to stay with me. And I got a cold right now, so don't mind my voice. You may be saying to yourself, if Adonai is Lord or my Lord, why are we going over this again? Well, Here comes the trick. And you're gonna see it clear as day. Like I said, just stay with me. Now you have Lord, and then you have Lord, all caps, right? Let me show you something. Go to Genesis 15, one and two. Keep in mind, the children of Israel were taken down or conquered and taken into captivity. The books and history of these people were burnt, destroyed, rewritten, or transliterated, meaning they fixed it the way they wanted to. All right? But let's get it. Genesis 15, 1 and 2. And it reads. 
After these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. And Abram said, Lord God, what wilt thou give me, seeing I go childless? And the steward of my house is this Eliezer of Damascus. Now you may not see it now, but I got you. As you can see, in the first verse, you have the Lord Lord in all caps then you go down to verse 2 only the L is capitalized but God is all caps now why is that walk with me let's go back to verse 1 and we're going to stick with the first sentence after these things the word of the Lord. And I'm going to start right there. Now remember, Adon was Lord. And Adonai or Adonai is its emphatic form. Like my Lord. Remember, like I told you, my Lord, the Lord, his Lord. All right. But here it is. The Lord. But it is not translated back to Adonai. And here is where you, we can see the blatant bullshit. You'll see a pattern. Excuse my language, but you'll get over it. There you have the KJV, King James Version. And here is the Hebrew. Here is where Adonai should be, but it's not. But what is there is the key to the confusion. H3068. Yahweh, or Yehovah, or Yahweh. How do you want to pronounce it? It's definitely not Yahweh. Alright. From H1. From H1. 961. We're going to get to that later. The self existent or eternal Jehovah. Jewish national name of God Jehovah the Lord compare H3050 H3069 now we are all familiar with Jehovah especially if you receive those Saturday knocks at the door by his witnesses. What's up? Good morning. Are you prepared for Jehovah's return? Because if you're not, I have a pair of...